Yo, I am Dr. Cool. I am getting exhausted of hotbed romantic affairs between automotive industries and government keeping their citizens in perpetual roller coaster of daydreaming of water powered car future technology, while on the other hand, uploading dog shit stocks and endless consumer based technologies. Yes, another breakthrough that is shutting down the internet. Little kid from nowhere dragging big corporations in mud. Welcome back to the channel. What if the next breakthrough is not coming from Silicon Valley but Africa? While Maxwell Chikumbutso's groundbreaking invention has kick-started African energy revolutionary movement, I will be sharing a clip of the explosive joy from students who were holding their breath to witness their schoolmate whose innovation is another milestone, another Western world, Tesla and BYD anxiety. The most fascinating part of this Eben of Science School Week is this is just a kid under six years at MIT or Western Billion Dollars Research Facility. He built water-powered car from scrap metals. This live is perhaps the best show ever. The undiluted, explosive tears of joy from teachers and students are signs of resounding beacon of hope from such young and talented kid is spectacular. Let's go into this rabbit hole. Let me lead you on my esteem audience. The sun beat down on Limpopo. Dust swirled in the air, creating a hazy veil over the rugged landscape. The heat was relentless, and the land seemed to stretch endlessly under the scorching sun. Life was hard, but hope remained. This was Tabiso's world, a world where every day was a struggle, yet the spirit of the people was unbroken. They faced their challenges with resilience and a sense of community, a world where dreams seemed impossible. The infrastructure was minimal and resources were scarce, yet amidst the dust and the heat, Children played with joy, finding happiness in the simplest of things. Tabizo, a 15-year-old with bright eyes, saw things differently. He had a spark in his eyes that set him apart. He was curious, always questioning, always dreaming. While other normal kids ate playing along the script, he and his supportive friend was up to something above the Western world automotive industry, and Western established scientists and engineers deemed impossible. Having that friend who always fuel your flame plays the key role of bringing this innovation to life and a teacher who don't insist on textbook and shares in the enthusiasm of critical thinking no matter how small, watered the growing plant and pivoted the birth of this invention. He saw opportunity in the struggle. Where others saw obstacles, Tabiso saw potential. He believed that every challenge was a chance to learn, to grow and to innovate. He saw potential in the ordinary. Everyday objects fascinated him. He would spend hours inspecting them, trying to understand their inner workings. Tabiso attended a school with limited resources. The classrooms were crowded, books were old, but the thirst for knowledge was palpable. The students were eager to learn despite the challenges, but the teachers were passionate. They were dedicated to their students, going above and beyond to provide the best education they could. They ignited the children's imaginations. They encouraged them to dream big, to believe in themselves and to strive for a better future. They told them, you can change the world. Tabiso believed them. He took their words to heart and made them his own. He knew education was the key. He understood that knowledge was power, and he was determined to unlock that power. Tabiso's family was large and loving. They lived simply. Their home was modest, but it was filled with love and laughter. His mother, a seamstress, taught him the value of hard work. She worked tirelessly, stitching clothes to provide for the family. His father, a mechanic, sparked his love for fixing things. He would spend hours in the workshop watching his father repair cars and machinery. Tabiso spent his days taking apart broken radios and old toys. He was fascinated by how things worked and wanted to understand every detail. He wanted to understand how things worked. He was driven by a relentless curiosity, always seeking to learn more. He wanted to make them better. He believed that with enough knowledge and effort, he could improve the world around him. Tabiso's heart was full of curiosity. His mind was a whirlwind of ideas, constantly buzzing with new possibilities. His mind buzzed with ideas. He would spend hours brainstorming, sketching out plans and dreaming of what could be. He knew his community faced many challenges. The daily struggles were evident, but Tabiso saw beyond them. Water scarcity was a big one. He dreamt of solutions. He envisioned ways to bring clean water to his village to make life easier for everyone. He dreamt of a brighter future, a future where his community thrived, where opportunities were abundant and where dreams became reality. One day in a science class, everything changed. The teacher was explaining the concept of energy. He spoke about different power sources. He mentioned solar, wind and hydro. He even talked about the power of water. Tabiso's mind raced. He had heard stories of cars running on petrol. He knew petrol was expensive and polluted the environment. He wondered, could water, a resource we have in abundance, be the answer? That night, Tabiso couldn't sleep. 
He lay awake, staring at the ceiling. He thought about the water pump in his village. He thought about the energy it generated. He grabbed his notebook. He started to sketch. He drew diagrams of engines and water tanks. He scribbled down equations. The seed of an idea had been planted. Every year, Tabissot's school celebrated Science Week. It was a time for students to showcase their projects. It was a time for innovation and excitement. This year, Tabissot had a secret. He had been working tirelessly in his father's garage. He had been using scrap metal and discarded electronics. He had been fueled by his dream. The day arrived. The school hall was buzzing. Students presented their projects. There were model volcanoes, potato batteries and miniature ecosystems. Then it was Tabissot's turn. He wheeled out his creation. It was covered in a sheet. The students gasped. The teachers leaned forward in anticipation. Tabiso took a deep breath. He removed the sheet. There it was, his water-powered car. Section 4. Water Fuels Dreams. How the impossible became possible. The car was simple yet ingenious. It had a water tank connected to an engine. The engine used a process called electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen was then used as fuel. It was clean. It was sustainable. It was revolutionary. The Bissot explained his process. He spoke about his challenges and triumphs. He demonstrated how the car worked. He drove it across the stage. The car sputtered a bit, then it moved. It moved smoothly and silently. The audience was captivated. The silence broke into thunderous applause. Students cheered. Teachers beamed with pride. Tabiso's parents' eyes filled with tears embraced him. He had done it. He had created something truly remarkable. Section 5 Limpopo celebrates, from whispers to national pride. Word of Tabiso's invention spread like wildfire. It was a remarkable journey that began in the quiet corners of Limpopo. It started as whispers in the village. People were curious and intrigued by the young man's creation. Then, it reached the local newspapers. Headlines screamed about the innovative water-powered car. Soon, the entire nation was talking about the young genius from Limpopo. Conversations buzzed in markets, schools and homes. Tabiso became an overnight sensation. His name was on everyone's lips and his face was recognized everywhere. News crews flocked to the village. They came from far and wide, eager to capture the story of this remarkable invention. They interviewed Tabiso, his family and his teachers. Everyone who knew him had a story to share. They filmed the water-powered car. The world watched in awe as Tabiso demonstrated his groundbreaking invention. They shared his story with the world. News channels and social media platforms buzzed with excitement. Tabiso's invention was a beacon of hope. It symbolized a brighter future for many. It proved that even in the most disadvantaged communities, brilliance could bloom. Tabiso's story inspired countless others to dream big. The community rallied behind their hero. They organized celebrations. The village was alive with joy and pride. They showered Tabiso with praise and support. He was their star, their beacon of hope. He had not only created a technological marvel, he had ignited a sense of pride and possibility in the hearts of his people. The Biso's journey from whispers to national pride was a testament to the power of innovation and community spirit.
Section 6, Thabiso's Vision, A Message for the World Thabiso's story resonated far beyond the borders of South Africa. He received invitations to speak at international conferences. He shared his vision for a sustainable future. He spoke about the power of education, perseverance and believing in your dreams. Thabiso remained humble. He knew this was just the beginning. He wanted to improve his design. He wanted to make it accessible to everyone. He wanted to inspire other young minds to pursue their passions. His message was simple yet profound. We can achieve anything if we work together, if we dare to dream big, and if we harness the power of innovation to create a better world. Section 7. Driving towards tomorrow, the future of the water-powered car. Tabizo's invention attracted the attention of engineers and investors worldwide. They were intrigued by the potential of a vehicle that could run on water, a resource so abundant and accessible. The idea was revolutionary, promising a future where fossil fuels could be a thing of the past. They saw the potential of his idea. The concept of a water-powered car was not just a dream, it was a tangible possibility that could reshape the automotive industry and reduce our carbon footprint significantly. They offered their expertise and resources to help him develop the technology further. Tabiso's future was bright. With the support of these experts, the project began to take shape, moving from a simple idea to a working prototype. The water-powered car was still in its early stages. The initial tests were promising, but there was still a long road ahead. The team had to ensure that the car was not only functional, but also efficient and reliable. There were challenges to overcome. The technology was complex, and there were many technical hurdles to address. The team had to work tirelessly, brainstorming and experimenting to find solutions. The technology needed to be refined. Every component had to be meticulously tested and improved. The team was dedicated, knowing that their hard work could lead to a groundbreaking innovation. Production costs needed to be reduced. Making the technology affordable was crucial for its widespread adoption. The team worked on optimizing the design to lower costs without compromising on quality, but the world was watching, the world was listening. The media coverage brought global attention to Tabiso's invention, sparking conversations about sustainable energy and the future of transportation. The world was ready for a change. People from all walks of life were excited about the possibilities. The idea of a cleaner, greener future resonated with many. Tabiso, the young boy from Limpopo, had sparked a revolution. His journey from a small village to the global stage was nothing short of inspirational, a revolution fueled by water, powered by ingenuity and driven by the unwavering belief in a brighter future. Tabiso's story was a testament to what could be achieved with determination and vision. His journey was a testament to the power of human potential and the limitless possibilities that emerge when we dare to dream beyond the horizon. The future of the water-powered car was not just a possibility, it was becoming a reality one step at a time. Let the West keep drama and dreams while Africa live with the reality.